Hello guys, this is Sim Racing Corner and today we have the unboxing for the T248, the Frostmaster T248. So as you can see it is sealed so we're going to uh, discover what's inside. Together, of course we know it is going to be a, a wheel. Um, just, just so you know guys, this is only just gone on sale to the public. You know, So any reviews you've seen out there up to this point were review models sent to websites and also youtubers for free so bear that in mind i'm not saying those reviews are not you know useful and worth watching but uh, be aware that you know they could have been slightly rushed to get stuff out there just to be the first out there so yeah be a bit, bit wary of those early reviews since and, and quite honestly guys stuff that's been sent to a reviewer for free you know always be a bit cautious about you know um if their were uh, if their review is, is is tells you everything you need to know so far everything i've seen early reviews of this um has uh, from from what i can see have been very very good you know this has been you know it's a bit of stuff on top yeah it's coming out as uh being like this is a very good wheelbase so i'll find out for myself but today we're just going to basically open it up have a look inside and i'll give you a basic impression of what i think of the the build quality etc but i can't do any more than that in this video as it is just basically an unboxing so i'm gonna have to tip this over and it's a big reveal chuck this big box out of the way it's upside down okay So first thing you can see, um, this version of the T24 is PlayStation only, and indeed there will be an Xbox compatible one. This is obviously you know PlayStation and PC compatible, um, of course. And uh, just look around the box. That's that side. Some uh, gum from the back in multiple languages, and of course we do get the new pedal set here, which. Uh, Looks very much like the Thrustmaster T LCM pedals, but be aware they are not. These are not load cell pedals. And I will show you this in a moment. I'm quite curious about the pedals because I am using the, uh, the T LCM pedals on my SimRig right now, and I think they're excellent. And therefore, it'd be interesting to see how these stack up. Of course, they're not gonna be as good, but you know, they do look very similar. So some uh, diagram on there about setting stuff up. Um, so PlayStation, it's a little PlayStation 5 thing. It's all upside down, of course, but uh, yeah, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and a PC. So a quick setup guide of how to plug stuff in. You know, easy stuff really, guys. And uh, inside, there's a piece there. Get rid of that. Some more foamy bits. and the wheelbase. So let me put this to the side for the moment so I can get to the pedals as they are sort of hidden away. Uh, just so you know actually, what I'm planning to do is um, get this on the sim rig and run out a uh, talk and drive, an early impression of what it's like to use. Uh, not a review, but just basically a first impression on the track. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in that which I need to slice open and have a look inside. Uh, okay, let's put that to the side for a moment. Let's get to the pedals. And carefully get rid of the box without hitting the camera. Right. Take all this off. So yeah, the same size as the Frost Master TLCM pedals. I can see that for a, for a start. Um, instead of having metal arms on here, those are plastic. Let's just have a quick press on these pedals. That springs all right. That does feel like the TCL TLCM pedals, the spring tension to me. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's, the clutch is a little bit stiffer than that one. Probably not too dissimilar. 
yeah, I think it's probably I think it's probably the same springs to be honest in that. But as for this, obviously that's not a load cell, guys. You can see that is just spring tensions. And from what I know, um, but we'll look at the accessories in a minute. So yeah, that's the strongest spring out of all of them. And there seems to be, there's a little rubber stop there as well to uh, act as a bit of a buffer when you hit the bottom, just so it's not a hard stop. So let's have a look in here, because um, there's gonna be some sort of cables and whatnot. Let me just find my knife. And uh, yeah, I can see a table clamp in here. So what we have, is a Thrustmaster style table clamp, the sort of one you're used to. Let's go, let's take it out. Yeah, so we're very much what you've seen before. Let's just chuck that to a side, see what else we have in here. So I can see we have a USB cable, so that's USB C. I'm assuming it's from the wheelbase. And we do have another spring. I can't quite tell if this is a strong spring or that one is installed on there, but you do have an extra spring there. Oh. Well done for us, Master. We just stuck everything to the sides. Okay. So manual, get rid of this, push on it again to get into the box. Try not to bust anything here, so I'm just going to slice the tape. Right. So, uh, power supply. Yep, so, uh, blah, blah, 40, 46, well, 48 watts power supply in there, guys. Uh, spring and that. So let's chuck this to the side. Chuck that to the side. Look at the bottom. Uh, that's quite good. So we have uh, mounting holes on here, which um, do line up to the uh, the TLCM pedals, which is really handy for me since I have drilled my uh, pedal deck uh, for the TLCM pedals, which means I can then smash these on there. So they call these the T the T three PM. <laughs> so yeah, plastic. Uh, Okay, yeah, they seem okay, but I'm only, only going to know when I get this uh, mounted. Um, but maybe I should just move these out of the way for the moment. As of course, the start of the show is this thing. Uh, okay. So I'm aware a lot of people um, have made comments on uh, forums, etc. And, uh, you know, have not liked the look of this wheel rim. They think it looks pretty ugly. Um, because it, it kind of looks like a, just a, you know, a standard car steering wheel. My Skoda City Go, the steering wheel looks really similar to this, quite honestly, guys. Um, actually very compact. Look at the size of it compared to uh, previous Thrustmaster wheel bases. This is kind of kind of narrow. I like that, it's compact. Because you don't, you know, why would you need, you know, lots of stuff around it if you don't need to? So yeah, they've done a nice job of making it into a compact unit. Um, Okay, this is interesting. One thing I, I did want to check out because um, uh, um, is the friction you're going you get from this motor from this mechanism um, when it's off. Because on the T three hundred, Thrustmaster T three hundred, it's actually quite smooth. It rotates very really smoothly. The um, the TMX and the T one hundred and fifty, the entry level force feedback wheels, they have a bit of a grind to them, and they are quite rough. And this is quite rough. So if I bring this up. You can hear that. So this is a, a gear and belt mechanism. And I have to say, it's not too notchy. 
that's kind of a good thing. You're not feeling uh, lots of little bumps. It is there, but there is definitely a roughness from the mechanism here. When we turn it on, that may not be so bad, but we'll find out from my, I'll find out. Because any friction you get from this wheel when it rotates is gonna end up diminishing the force feedback. And that's why I wanted to check this out. But of course, when we turn it on, it may not be quite so bad, but yeah, interesting. Yeah, as you can see, look, if we spin it, it's not spinning particularly freely. It's being held up by the friction of the motor and bearings and what else, you know, what, and all the other things that connect the little motor in here to the steering shaft here. Um, yeah, so there you go. It has an arrangement of buttons, which, yeah, they feel okay. They just feel like standard buttons. Kind of like a console controller, really, those sort of buttons. So sort of, sort of rubber dome type things. I think the rest of them are the same as well. We have uh, this up and down switch on the left, one on the right as well. Interesting, that's quite useful. Use it for brake bias and other sort of things. Kind of useful little things that are very much uh, easy access to, to your thumbs. Uh, and also a nice feature, at least that's new to Thrustmaster wheels is an integrated display there. So that can be a speedo and also tuning settings that go right there. But it does depend on the game, whether or not there is compatibility. So bear in mind, there'll be some games out there which that display will not work for um, game telemetry. The actual um, rim itself, it's all plastic. So hard plastic there. But it does have, I'm trying to find, work out what material that is, just by smelling it, it's not, it's not leather, it's not leather, it's sort of like um, a foamy material, leather-like, but um, you can see if I uh, press it in, there's some give on there, and that does feel quite nice, I'd say that does, it's a, it's a reasonably nice feeling ergonomics. It's, uh, yeah, my hands kind of go around the curves of the rim nicely, so that's actually comfortable. And the softness of that is also quite nice. So yeah, in my hands it actually feels okay. Although you can always, you know, you can feel the plasticiness of the inner, inner rim bit here. It feels right. And there you go. And also, magnetic, uh, I think that's magnets. It feels like magnetic shifter shifters on there. If it's not, it's a reasonably good emulate uh, sort of like uh, feel of that type of feel. So quite clicky. So very clicky. Actually, that might annoy some people actually because it's quite loud. So if you're uh, racing at night, that's a sort of the sort of like noise that's gonna probably get on someone's tits in another room, <laughs> most likely. But there you go. Uh, I can see there's some uh, holes at the top for ventilation. I'm assuming there is a fan in here, so there's a uh, ventilation at the bottom too. Um, okay, that's quite good as well. We have. So that main screw there is for the table clamp. And you do have a couple of hard mounting points there. So just a couple, uh, hmm. which may be a bit weird. I would hope to have at least something here as well. So you have a little bit more security rather than it being just on two with a you know, leverage of that. Not sure about that, but it does have, like I said, it does have those on there, but it may, you may feel it's gonna lift a little bit when you're moving it, when you're kind of doing that. It may have a little bit of, um, it may not be so great. So who knows? Um, ah, it's got a little uh, Velcro strap there for the cables. It's kind of nice and some channels there for also taking the cables away underneath from the sockets here. So it's all there, USB-C for your data connection to your console PC, um, a plug for the pedals, 
and um, yeah, something for the first master shifter, the THHA, and then the power. So yeah, and rubber pads there. Yeah, feels solid enough. It's kind of what you expect. Um, yeah. The first master T248, guys. I guess that's, that's about it, isn't it? It's just an unboxing, just showing you around it, give you an idea what it kind of feels like in my hands, just uh, playing around with it. It feels, um, yeah, it feels solid like other first master wheels. There's no play friction there. Um, I'd say it probably looks better in front of you than it does maybe in a video or on pictures because like I said people don't you know aren't necessarily keen on the design of this but it's okay it's okay I mean it's um it feels pretty good um I don't know if that's a 20 but I got my ruler if I got my ruler I will measure I'll measure it it does look a bit wider than normal okay so we have a 28 centimeter wheel rim that's kind of nice, that's good. I think that's a good size of uh, wheel rim for most things, I think. And uh, there you go, that's it guys. I'm not gonna do anything more here. Um, you've had a look around it. I've thrown it around a little bit in my hands. Uh, let's bring in the pedals for the last time. And there you have it. Unboxing for the Thrustmaster T248. Stay tuned on the channel. I will bring out a uh, talk and drive in the next couple of days, I'll give you an early uh, verdict of what I feel about the force feedback, um, but a proper review will follow in the weeks to come. But uh, yeah, interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. I'll be back soon with something new. So uh, stay tuned and take care and happy swimming and bye bye.